So it's come to that time of year again. Or as I say that time of year again, it's the first time of year with this particular vehicle, but it's MOT and service time. Now my last car always used to like to bite me in the ass when it came around to that time of year. <laughs> This one I'm hoping is going to be a lot better. As I said hoping, we don't know until we see when it's done, so we'll see how it goes. But you spend most of the day dreading the worst, and either you get the worst, or it might be alright. We don't know. <laughs> we shall see. It's not a nice day for wandering around though. It's quite wet and horrible, and yeah, I'm not overly excited about being out. Okay, so luckily it didn't bite me on the arse as I thought it would do. I did have to have a little bit done to it, but only a tiny little hose that was a bit loose, um, like a turbo hosing. Other than that, it sailed for its MOT and sailed for its service, so I'm quite happy actually, for the first time for a long time with a car. Um, obviously it's all right for next year, so it's fine. Whilst I was out for today, obviously I spent the day on the bus. Nice for a change. So I went out and actually bought myself a calendar, which I hadn't had for ages. So I need to get one of those. I've got quite a nice funny cat one. And I also did a little bit of other shopping as well. So the idea also about getting a calendar now obviously is that it's cheaper i mean i didn't mean to get one this late i was going to get one before christmas i saw a couple around before christmas and thought that'd be a nice idea didn't get them at the time and then when i came back to get them as i've shown in another video there weren't any available so i've had to buy it now but that's a really nice one so i'm happy with that plus it's 75 percent off in waterstone so it only cost me three quid but i really like it <music> Now I did also say I did some other shopping as well, um, not sort of intentionally, but I went into Superdrug whilst I was up at Westwood Cross, had a look around, and whilst I was in there I noticed they had a new Valentino fragrance. It is the same as I've had before, which is the Born in Roma, the Umo, but this is a green stravaganza version. So I had a smell, it gave me a little sample of it as well, because I wasn't overly sure about it. Um, so after I was in there, I looked at the others like you do, then went into Boots, in Boots, spoke to Dolly, who's a very good fragrance expert in there. Had another smell of the fragrance, the green extravaganza. And I was like, mm, I'm still not sure. So she gave me a comparison between that and the Intense, which is the one I've had before, which I've also reviewed in a video, Vlog 284, which I explained sort of with some other things I was talking about, that Valentino fragrance I liked. But I compared it with this new one, I'm not so sure. So I walked off, went into the perfume shop, who I expected to be cheaper because it's supposed to be perfume discount store and actually it was dearer than both Superdrug and Boots which is a bit unusual so I went back to Boots and I ended up buying so out of the two between the green and the this one I really really prefer this one this is a much nicer smell much more romantic warmer smell and of course I like the bottle now both of them come in this bottle the new one it's the same bottle but it's got green writing and it's a green liquid but it's the same style same bottle but i just didn't fancy the smell of it another thing about me buying it there and then at that point was because it's coming up to valentine's day they had an offer on where you could get 15 percent off so actually it was a really good deal and it was worth doing and i said that i really do like it it's a nice fragrance before i have done fragrance videos before i keep meaning to do one i've been promising to do one for ages and i haven't because i haven't found the ones i like I will, I promise. I have actually got something new to do as well. Because when I bought that, the Intense, Dolly, the lady that does the perfume in boots, also gave me a Born in Romo Normal. This is a small four mil sample as such of the normal Roma, not the Intense version. But the really cool thing, it comes in the same type of bottle. Look, look at that. That's so cool. This one is a bit weird because it's a pop-off bottle. But it's really cool. I mean, this one, obviously, the proper intense. Ugh. This, of course, is a proper spray. So I've got a three to review. I've got the normal Roma, which I've just got as a sample as such. I've got the green Stravaganza, which is the new one, just come out this year, a few weeks ago, actually. 
I've got that to do a review of, and of course the intent, which I've done the review before, but I thought I might do all three together. So I will do that after this video. And by I mean after, I mean literally after, I'm going to film it now, but you'll see it after this video has come out. So if you want to watch a fragrance review for three fragrances, I will buy some more fragrances, as I said, get some samples and do a proper fragrance video soonish when I can find some more I like. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you like the videos. If you do, please, please hit the like button. It helps a lot. And think about subscribing if you want to see more of my rather weird stuff. So thanks a lot. Cheers. Yeah.